Hello my lovelies and welcome to Military Watches issue number 17. We have the French Seaman here today and this is quite a lovely one as you can see. Another black elegant strap with this lovely bold white face. It's absolutely brilliant. So this is the French Seaman, French, Na uh, French Navy 1940s as you can see there. So really, really good. And um, oh, that's nice. That's like a tank on water. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so design details there it does actually go into the Indochina china timeline there and you've got large luminous arabic numerals in an easy to read font large crown for ease of winding luminous hands with the dark colored outline black woven fabric strap off-white dial and center second sweep hand there we go dodane oh i like that dodane Specialist in aviation con of ours, five generations of the Dodain family have produced high precision timepieces and the company became the supplier in the French military. So that's a beautiful photograph there of a uh, plane and its lovely watch there, really, really good. Mark of distinction again, today in 1857, the current logo is simply the company name and the date of its founding in a serif font, which imparts an air of seriousness and authority. Lovely river there as well. Really, really good. Key watches and what's in a name? The name of the company is quite simply that of the founder of the business. In 1857, Alfonso Stocktain, the firm is usually known as the House of Dordain. And I always, uh, every time I read Alfonso, it reminds me of Declan Donnelly's dad, who was called Alfonso. Um, oh, that's lovely. This is, again, we need a helicopter build, guys. So someone bring out a, a helicopter build. We almost had the Apache. Um, but apparently that didn't make her make it, unfortunately. Uh, John Harwood, the English inventor John Harwood, uh, is best known for his development of the self-winding wristwatch. Uh, so yeah, pretty good. Personally, I don't like self-winding wristwatches because they could run out as you're out and then you've got to just wind it up again. So I personally prefer battery. Space-time, time and three-dimensional space are interlinked to form a fourth dimension, the space-time continuum. And then as you can see here in issue number 16, we have the Egyptian Naval Commando 1950s watch. And that is a beautiful watch, guys. Um, so that's coming up next time in issue number 17. So this is the, um, the uh, watch. So we'll take this off again and that is that guys so very similar to this watch here as you can see i think that's probably why it didn't sell very much or was short-lived but yeah i mean a lot of the, the trouble is with watches is really the majority of them is just the face change whereas some of them uh you may get a color difference on the strap but a lot of them guys are black but as you can see this is a lovely lovely watch it's the woven material is beautiful Again, it looks like it's never been worn, so that's a plus. And then, obviously, the shininess of that is beautiful. That whiteness is lovely. I really like that. It just works so well with the colour coordination here. You've got a lovely small face. This one looks like it needs a battery change, so we'll do that there. And uh, black dials look beautiful. And uh, as you can see, you can peel that sticker off there. And you've got the Ecomos logo there. So let's take a look and let's get some repairs in. So what we need to do is find the central point here. So we'll turn this down a bit. And we need to find the little central point. So in here, somewhere around here, there is a little uh, clip thing, which I can see is just there. So we're going to get our little pin this time, which should just, if you get the right angle, just pop it off like that, as you can see. And then we'll take this out. And that's the little battery that we've got there. Okay, and then we'll just take in this lovely battery. I'm forever ordering batteries. If it ain't AAs, it's watch batteries or it's AA. <laughs> I wonder if there's a rechargeable wristwatch that you could get. It's probably too small to recharge it, to be quite honest with you. So, uh, yeah. It would be nice, though, if they did like a rechargeable watch version, but... Looking at the size of that battery, yeah, it's probably going to be quite difficult. So we'll just pop that into there like so. And then we'll put the guard back on it and see if this has got any life. So uh, always make sure that this is facing upwards because as you can see, it's got engraving on it. And that will go onto that part just there. So let's take a look, see if it's sticking away. Yeah, it's dick de bow so it's working lovely. And again, what's the time now? 8.20, so we'll just... Um, turn this round 
to about there. And there we go, guys. Another lovely watch ticking away at its lovely, lovely thing. So you'll probably see me wearing a different watch nearly every video. <laughs> I like to do rotation schemes. So I like to, you know, change the watch every day um, as a rule. But yeah, that is that. I really like this. I have to say it's beautiful. Um, just to have one with a white watch, it brings, it's, it's very light retro. It's given me a retro vibe on that. It's really, really lovely. I mean, it's very similar to this one, as you can see, but obviously that one's black. I mean, the hands are very similar because they're luminant as well. But I think, you know, the dial hands, are the you know, the numbers as well are very sort of like glow in the dark. I mean, oh yeah, it is, look guys, if you look down there, it's glow in the dark a bit there. That's beautiful, yeah. Always nice when you get glow in the dark hands. That's beautiful. But yeah, and the the wristwatch feels very, very hard as well. It's a very light sort of hard woven material. So I really like that. As you can say, I, I love my clocks. I love pocket watches, alarm clocks. I must have about five clocks in the house. Um, I have alarm clocks for different countries. So obviously I'll set my alarm clock um, for like Australian time or american time because i do have friends over in other countries so obviously it's always nice to set a clock to their time and then you know roughly what time it is there but oh, i love them my favorite has to be a pocket watch or an alarm clock really really lovely you know that little hammer that bangs as it goes off it's beautiful but anyway that is that um so i hope you like that video please remember to like share and subscribe remember to tap the bell if you want to be notified of all the videos i do we'll see you next week for more the military watches collection brought to you by eagle moss collections next tuesday have a lovely evening head and we'll see you next time bye